Tour 223, live from the SSE Arena Wembley in London. And we started our night with a middleweight matchup between Charlie Ward and Justin Moore. Charlie Ward coming in here on three straight victories, but Justin Moore is known for his strength, his big shots, and his takedowns. And he went after Charlie Ward, putting Ward on his back. But by the end, Charlie Ward was going after him with big shots. And then there was this position. You think he's got that Kimura. Charlie Ward gets his arm free, and Justin Moore is out of gas. And you see Charlie Ward opening up with huge shots. They cannot be stopped by Justin Moore. He is out of gas. That is the end of the fight. A beautiful TKO victory by the relentless one, Charlie Ward. 4-0 in Bellator with four finishes. This one, a second round TKO. Next up, Mike Shipman and Costello Van Stinas, two men with outstanding records. We were looking for fireworks in this fight, Mike, and man, we got them because both these guys are so good. Shipman's got that style, but watch the elbow. Look at it, just free Shipman. The second one hits him, puts him down. That shot puts him out. And man, that was one dynamic shot by Costello Van Stinas to hurt Mike Shipman. Shipman was in a position. He was trying to take a little bit of a break. You see that left hand hit him, put him where his eyes roll back. That's why the referee stopped it. A unbelievable KO victory for Costello Van Stinas. And snap Shipman's 13 fight win streak. How about Denise Kielholtz, Miss Dynamite, and her evolution continues because she showed just some great MMA skills and a growing skill set here tonight. Yeah, you know, she was known for her kickboxing, but she was on the national team in Amsterdam for judo. And you see her, she uses that Kezakatami position. She puts a lot of pressure and then opens up, holding the arm, landing strikes. Her opponent's unable to stop it. She gets that TKO victory. That's a big, big win for Miss Dynamite, Denise Keelholtz. Congratulations to Denise Keelholtz. Up next, Fabian Edwards and the mutant, Jonathan Bosuku. Well, I'll tell you, you could say that he was a mutant in the way he was able to survive some of the heavy blows that Fabian Edwards hit him with. Bosuku was strong and stayed in this fight by just being a gamer, saying, I'm not gonna give in, hunting, Fabian Edwards down, but it was the strikes of Fabian Edwards, the better technique and his ability to land big shots like that kick there, but look at Basuku, he stayed with it. Gets Fabian Edwards down, but loses a unanimous decision victory to the assassin, Fabian Edwards. Who remains unbeaten as a professional. Then the fight that was to be a main event in Dublin, it was contracted tonight at 140. James Gallagher and Jeremiah Labiano without a touch of the gloves. Well, that was because of what happened in the media day before, but look at Labiano is known as a very good grappler and a black belt in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, but it was in the first round. Gallagher get him down and winning that round, but back came Labiano. He had a very good second round, did some damage to Gallagher, put him in some bad positions, landed heavy strikes, but the third round came back to Gallagher and he deserved a 29-28 unanimous decision victory to get that big win. He is 6-1 in Bellator. Finally, our main event of the evening, Paul Daly fighting 10 minutes away from the hospital in which he was born against the Brazilian, Eric Silva. Well, we all knew what Eric Silva had to do in this fight and what Paul Daly needed to do. In the first round, Silva was able to get this fight to the ground, but in the second round, he started getting hit with big shots, hooks, uppercuts, body shots. Paul Daly opened up the whole package, almost had him out several times, but Eric Silva was a gamer. He was durable and he kept coming back, but it was the abuse that Paul Daly was able to put on him that got him a big victory for Paul Semtex Daly. For the latest Bellator news and information, go to bellator.com.